African girl got the spice, she got, got it. Caribbean's Jamaicans, I got a message. She can be my brown skin queen. Oh, brown skin girl, skin just like mine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. I'm Jerica, and this is Just Jer. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. Honestly, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a long time because my last video that you should definitely go watch was a lookbook. And then I don't like talking though, so I feel like it's been a little minute. But I've been waiting like two to three weeks to do this video. And I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so excited because y'all know how much I love Halloween. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why Halloween and fall is more excited than any other holiday. I'm not sure. But with that being said, I'm going to show y'all some of the Halloween kind of fall hoodies and sweatshirts that I personally design. If you if you're really new here, y'all, I went to school and got a communications new media design degree, which means that I am a graphic designer. I got that Bachelor of Arts to prove it. So I I kind of know a little something. So <laughs> Um, let me just, let me just go ahead and say that these designs were not, like, original by any means. I think, I did design them, but I more so, like, recreated them. Let's say that. Because I've seen them, like, seen, like, bits and pieces of different things on, like, Pinterest. And then I kind of, you know, open Illustrator and see what I can, see what I can, you know, pull together. So I'm really excited because I recreated them. And then I, it's a, I... Either had them printed on heat transfer paper or I had them printed with a Cricut machine. It is, y'all, it is crazy what you could do with a Cricut and a heat press. I see why y'all be having them little businesses now. I be, I, I see y'all. Don't worry. I'm not doing that. I promise y'all I'm not. I don't think I would. I don't know. Anyways. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first sweatshirt that I designed. For Halloween. Boom. Orange. Is it is it giving pumpkin or is it giving traffic cone? Y'all, can y'all read it? Halloween Town University. A very classic Halloween movie. It's Halloween Town. And if you've seen the movies, you know how epic. Is it? I think it's which Halloween Town movie is it? It might be the third one. Is the third one the one she went to school? When she went, you know, like she went back to Halloween Town and she decided to go to college in Halloween Town and she went to Halloween Town University. Now, now it looks like I went to Halloween Town University. So, yeah. So basically, I, I actually, yeah, I recreated this. I've seen this a million different ways. And y'all know how like when you start looking up stuff and then it's like ads and all that kind of stuff you popping up for it. That's when I started seeing them everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was like like a real thing that people with their little businesses I guess be doing I don't know I really thought I was doing something I thought I had the grand idea but yeah so basically I found a font for this top part the Halloween town part I found a different font for the university y'all I put a pumpkin it look it this font's the same as this because obviously I wanted it exactly in exactly the way that I wanted it so I recreated it did it with the fonts that I like the best ordered an orange sweatshirt and bam this is a, the doings of a cricket machine y'all and a heat press a t-shirt a t-shirt heat press so it ain't going nowhere okay so yeah this is the first one all right next y'all be sure to comment down below which one is your favorite i, I got more for y'all but just just wait just wait boom y'all see that y'all wait a minute Nike, Nike, don't come for me, but y'all see that? So, with this one, I definitely recreated this one. I saw it, loved it, but I didn't love the way that she did it. So, I, I kind of redid it a little bit. I'm, don't be mad at me, y'all. I redid it just a little bit. I think I mostly redid the more, I did more orange, because I think she had hers in like white or something. I don't know. And I redid like the cobweb. I don't know. I just recreated it just oh so slightly. But I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Like, look at that skeleton. Y'all see? Let me get some. This is so freaking cute. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Oh gosh, I cannot wait to wear these y'all. And fall started like two days ago. We had like a heat index and then like two days later it was 60 degrees. So yeah. So now it's like actually kind of fall outside, especially in the mornings. It's literally like I I need me my I need a sweatshirt because like 60 degrees. But yeah. I think honestly this one might be my favorite. This is the one I feel like that started it all that the one I was like, ooh, let me let me just design a little Halloween sweatshirt. And then boom, I got all these other ones. So so I took the opportunity and I ran with it. I had an idea and then a whole bunch of other ideas just kind of branched from that. So yeah, I got that same transfer from the Etsy shop. So if y'all want me to put her Etsy shop down or if you just you just really want to know to support her, let me know and I'll I'll try to find it and I'll send it to you. Alright, next. This one, not exactly Halloween thing, but I can still wear it in October. It says fall y'all. If you're from the south, you understand we say y'all. We don't say you all. We say y'all. That's definitely part of our vocabulary. I honestly wanted a black sweatshirt for this. I'm kind of glad I went with the gray. I, kinda, I really like the gray. I do. I do. But um, the only way I think I could have made the sweatshirt black is if I would were to do the y'all part in white. But when I was doing it, I don't know. I guess I didn't think about what color sweatshirt it could go on. So I did it in black. So it would have looked weird with a black sweatshirt. So I'm glad I went with the gray. So yeah, this one, yeah, this one was also a heat transfer from the girls Etsy shop. So here we go. What do y'all think? Like I said, go ahead and comment down below which one is your favorite. All right, yeah. This is one I probably could have started wearing in September, but now we're about to be done with September. But don't worry, because I'm, I'm definitely gonna wear it in October if not November, so. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, so, y'all know, like I said, I had an idea and I definitely ran with it. So, besides doing like fall, Halloween sweatshirts and hoodies, I I really like branched out into some, what do we, I don't know what we wanna call it. So, let me see, what would I wanna call it? Oh, okay, let's let's say let's say like some very like black creative entrepreneur kind of apparel y'all It's good. I'm about to show y'all so if you want if you want a little bonus Stay tuned stay tuned because I got a little bonus coming for you So this is the first sweatshirt I think it's the only sweatshirt the first item. Let's say that black creator so this one this one is the original y'all i didn't recreate this one um black creator is actually something that i use if you follow me on just your studio on instagram which you should i don't know why you wouldn't but it's a hashtag that i use and literally like all my posts i actually think i use it on my personal just got my eye. i think i use it on my personal just your account as well when I post like reels and stuff. I always put black creator because what am I? I'm black. I be creating. I'm a content creator. Black creator. So it took me a long time to actually figure out what font I wanted to use. And I knew I wanted gold. So this is the font I chose. I get most of my fonts from thefont.com. I just download them, open whatever, it open it up in Illustrator or whatever, and just work from there. So yeah, let me know what you think of this one. It's giving merch. <laughs> I already have merch. I don't have like merch. I have a brand, so I don't know. I was, and it makes me kind of think y'all because I wanted to do on my website, justyourstudio.com. You should go check out. I wanted to maybe start doing like, cause I do graphic tees with my art, but I wanted to do maybe like, I don't know what you would call it. Like shirts and hoodies and things with like inspirational sayings and stuff like that. And I think that this would be a good start if I decide to go that route. Or I, I might just be the only one wearing stuff like this. You never know. But yeah, this one is super cute. So if you ever see anybody wearing this same black creator, just 
I just want to tell y'all, I, I feel like I created it because I've never seen anyone else with anything like this. This wasn't, this wasn't on Pinterest. And it's really the font, like, oh my gosh. The font in the vinyl. Yeah, I did forget to say, y'all. This one was just gold vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby. Ordered the sweatshirt. Printed it with the Cricut. Pressed it with a t-shirt press. That's it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, so I've seen, like different saying so you know how like you can be an entrepreneur but when you are a female entrepreneur it's just like 10 times better so i got a shirt i just bought a plain white shirt y'all i bought brown vinyl because i just wanted something besides like black and white and i made a shirt that says entrepreneur her because we are female we are a woman owned we are black woman owned at that so yeah, I got a shirt. It made it say entrepreneur her. Like how cute. I think I've seen this before. Never like this, but I've seen different versions of this saying. So this one wasn't exactly an original, but I kind of made it, recreate it in a way that fits me. So obsessed. Can't wait to wear it. That's so cute. Yeah, 10 out of 10. All right, let's move on. Ooh. Okay. Y'all. Okay. So this one, very similar concept. Plain white shirt. At this time, I bought black vinyl. Cut it with the Cricut. Heat press it on the shirt. This one says, minding my black owned business. I've seen this saying. I haven't seen it on like, I, I think I have seen it on a t-shirt before. Maybe this was a while ago. Maybe that's why I originally got the idea and I was like, got to do that. So I originally saw it, but did I like the design at it all? So I just, like I said, recreated it in a way that made sense for me. It's amazing what you can see on Pinterest. Do y'all like this one? I literally had to download two different fonts. Oh, I might have already had these. Now that I'm looking at them, I kind of know what they are. But like I said, I get my fonts from thefont.com. Mm -hmm. So go look, cause they're free. We love free. And I just downloaded it and I typed it out, kind of arranged it in the way that I liked it. Who's she talking to? Y'all hear princess? Anyways, and then I just simply pressed it with the heat press, period. And now we got us a cute little shirt. I really want to be able to like eventually as a small business owner, uh, uh, as a small business owner, obviously we're going to, we're going to grow. We're going to prosper. We're going to be, you know, stepping into bigger and better things whenever that time comes and I'm really hoping that I can like host events and like do like little pop-up shops and stuff like that oh that's like my dream y'all my dream is to like do a pop-up shop it's just like they're so hard to find like places that need the vendors in in Memphis so if you know if you are someone who hosts stuff like that please shoot me a little email because I would be so happy to participate oh my gosh but that's like what I kind of imagine wearing my like little, little shirts too, so. Yeah. All right, last on the list is, y'all, I don't ever carry stuff like this, but I felt, I felt like this was necessary. So I got a plain black tote bag. Oh, let me show you what I put on it. <laughs> black on the tote bag. You get it because the tote bag is black on black, but you couldn't see it if I put it in black, so I put it in white. But look how cute that is. Like, I'm about to have me a little tote, a little tote bag. That's so cute. I don't really have that much stuff that I could be putting in here, but trust me, I'm gonna find something to put in this little bag. This is so cute. It's like so simple. Like, I don't know. Like the bag itself speaks volumes with its simplicity. And I appreciate that about this bag. So, yeah, just look. I do think I got this idea from a girl on Pinterest. I mean, it's not like Instagram, y'all. I can't be like, let me tag her below. Cause like someone could have reposted a picture that was already reposted, that was reposted from somebody else and somebody else's grandma and dog. And then that's how I saw the picture. So sadly, I don't have the picture anymore, but we got the bag. I'm sure she did the same thing. So yeah, y'all. That's, that's the black excellence collection there. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I 
I'm looking around, make sure I don't forget nothing. I did do um one more hoodie. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. Jeremy, hold on. So actually, we do have one more. So I designed Jamin a hoodie. I can show y'all what he's seen so far. So Jamin has this up and coming brand. It's very, very much still in the works. I definitely think it is a great idea, but it's called Lion's Lair. His favorite animal is a lion. It has a lot of representat representation, representative things for him. Love it. So I actually designed the Lion's Lair logo for him. And there's something on the front of this hoodie, but he's only seen the Lion's Lair logo on the back. So that's all I'm going to show y'all. He hasn't seen this full hoodie and he's getting it for Christmas. So but he's already seen it. He already knows he's getting it. So it's not really like a surprise. Okay. So this is the hoodie. And this is the Lion's Lair logo. Oh, hold on, hold it very wonky. There we go. Ooh, can y'all see that? Look how fresh that is. So yeah, I designed this logo for him. Cute. <laughs> so when he becomes a really big trader, full-time day trader, y'all, y'all gonna know his name. Y'all gonna see his little logo I did too. So y'all better be like, oh my gosh, I know her. Okay. So yeah, he's getting this hoodie for Christmas, but this is what the back of the hoodie looks like. I just wanted to show y'all one more thing that I've been playing around with with the Cricut and heat press. Okay, so for real now, that is it for today, guys. I think I forgot to say at the beginning to follow me on Instagram. Or did I? I think I did. Y'all, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow both my Instagrams. I need to start saying both because the Just Jer account is just as important as the Just Your Studio account. They come hand in hand because both are me. So yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Yeah, let me say brown skin girl, don't you know you're beautiful? Yeah, melanin, just so short